Okay. We are live. Yeah. What's up, Sims? How are you? I'm very good. How are you? Good. Thank you for having me. How was your Wednesday at South High? My Wednesday was good. It was long. I my Wednesday schedule is the day that I don't have any of my preps, so I saw all of my kids today. Oh which was no! A long, <laughs> long, busy day, but it was good. So, for those that don't know you, yes. like who is Miss Evans? So I am a math teacher at South. I teach geometry and AP Calc AB this year. This is my fourth year. Yeah, I have uh, you in my class for the second year in a row. Um, because I taught pre-calc pre -calc last year, um, but this is my fourth, fourth year at South. I also am the volleyball coach. I've been coaching JV volleyball for the past, right. this is my third year uh, for boys and girls, and I'm going to continue to, to coach in the future. Oh. Mr. Whaler, you're available to Mr. Creamer. Our wonderful yeah. Mr. Creamer. Yep. But how has volleyball been? It's been really good. We uh, have made a lot of progress. When we first started, we were basically starting from nothing because mm -hmm. I began coaching right after COVID. Yeah. Um, so everyone was brand new to the team. We were starting, at, basically everyone who tried out had never played volleyball before. And we just, for the girls season, made playoffs for the first time, which is really oh, exciting. Let's go. So let's yeah, go. very exciting. Hopefully the boys have the same success in the spring. Oh. I'm excited. So, you live in Boston. I do. How is that and how yeah. does it affect working so, here in Worcester? I was living in Worcester for the past two years and then I moved to Boston in September. So I now have quite a bit of a commute. It's like 50-ish minutes each way that I drive. Um, what I, time are you waking up for that? I wake up at 4.45. I leave my house at like 5.30, 5.45, depending mm -hmm. on how quickly I get out of bed after my alarm goes off. Um, but honestly, I, I've been totally fine with it. I, I love living in Boston and I love working here. So it just kind of is the best situation for me. Um, I, can, I can deal with the commute. Traffic's usually not bad. So. What, is, what is living in Boston like? Living in Boston is really fun. I grew up in that area. So I live with actually my, one of my best friends from I met in kindergarten. Um, and I have a lot of my high school and college friends and my uh, cousins, like my cousin lives like five minutes from my apartment, um, which is nice that I have like a lot of my, my friends and family nearby. So it's oh. fun. Nice. So nice it, works. it works. Just the 50 it minutes that it just, takes. To yeah, get just the here. commute during the week is kind of a pain, but uh, yeah. yeah so I've been enjoying it. Kindergarten. Yes. When did you decide to become a teacher? Because I know you have a, a I, thing over there. Yes, I do. I have uh, this picture on my wallet actually. So it's a drawing that I made when I was in kindergarten. It was like one of those, when I grow up, I want to be, and I wrote a teacher, but I couldn't spell, so I wrote a catcher. <laughs> um, and I drew my little picture of me being a teacher, and my mom actually kept it. And on my first day of work at South, she framed it and gave it to me as a little gift. So I, I had no idea that I had wow. made that. I, I had no I, I knew I wanted to teach. I actually mm -hmm. had found a little journal of mine um, like a year ago. And in it, I had uh, made some math tests for my little brother. And I, the date on it, I made him write the date when I made the math test. And it was like 2003 or 2004. Oh I was like, <laughs> I was like seven and he was five. And I gave him the little math test and then I graded it. And, give him an A on it after. So it's very clear that mm -hmm. not only did I always want to be a teacher, I knew I always wanted to be a math teacher. Now, have any of us taken any of those questions? In any like quiz or <laughs> test that we've done? <laughs> no, oh. it, it was like <laughs> one plus two. Okay. We, we, he was like five. So we're, uh, we're I, I would hope at this point in AP Calc that you guys would know those. <laughs> Shaky some days. <sighs> Hey, at least I have my driver's license. That's true. You yes. do have your driver's license, yes. Now, have your students taught you anything? My students teach me something every single day. <laughs> every day. I think that's one thing that one of the reasons I went into teaching is I love learning. Mm -hmm. I think most teachers love to learn. That's why we enjoy being in a school environment. Um, but yeah, you, you guys are teaching me things every every single day, whether it's like, random little like 
slang and things like that or it's just like you guys are teaching me patience and like compassion and all these different things that like I have to practice every day in my teaching mm -hmm. so there's there's a lot that I learned from you now guys. you probably already know that like everyone likes you everyone likes and that's not true <laughs> but <laughs> so like how is the relationship with your students I mean I think I have a good relationship with my students that's something that's really important to me um I think that there's only so much teaching that can happen without a relationship with the students. I think mm -hmm. if you are able to have the kind of relationship where you can have the respect between you and the student, um, you're able to get a lot more done. And mm -hmm. I think just the environment of the class is a lot smoother if you have good relationships with them. So that is a priority to me. And I think being lucky enough to have classes where I have some of you guys two years in a row mm -hmm. has really allowed me to have relationships with you guys that I wouldn't have in yeah. just one year, which is nice. Half of high school. I know. I've that's been crazy. in your room. Lucky you. To think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you wanted to be a teacher forever. Forever. What job do you think you wouldn't be good at? I would be a horrible waitress. Really? I would be a terrible waitress. One, I have really bad balance. And I just wouldn't, I know I would spill mm -hmm. all over the place, but also like my short term memory is like really bad. Like those waiters and waitresses that like don't write anything down and they just remember, I know I would mess it up. Like you order a chicken piccata, I'd give you a chicken parm. Like I, there's no <laughs> way I would remember all of that. I, I think I, I would not do a good job. So how did like waitress. your short term memory affect you like learning? Well, I I mean it, it 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 can be okay, but as you probably notice in mm -hmm. class, like someone will raise their hand and be like, oh, I'll be right there, and then I will totally forget yep, yep. that <laughs> I said I was going to be right there, and I will move on to someone else. Yes, and it's nothing personal personal against anyone, but I just been a victim to that one a couple yeah, times. I'm so sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I do it way too often. So, has someone ever tried to bribe you while being a teacher? Yes. Really? Yeah. Well, really? In your class, do you remember one of my students, I won't say the name, it wasn't really a bribe. It was more that they, they came late to school and they knew I was going to be upset that they came late to school. So they bought me a coffee in the hopes that I, yeah, I would not that one. be as angry. And unfortunately, it worked. <laughs> I, I was still angry that they were late. But, uh, did they get marked late? They did still get marked late, but I didn't have as much anger as I was like oh I now get a coffee so <laughs> don't like, don't bribe me don't don't okay I shouldn't do that okay it worked note one time never again note taken yeah buy me some coffee coffee she'll be happy I'm gonna try that one next week <laughs> what is your go-to coffee order are you like a Dunkin okay. or a Starbucks so person? I like both I'll go I'll go to either I have like a Starbucks and a Dunkin on my way to work so everyone I usually on Fridays let myself buy a coffee but I like a latte mm -hmm. like an oat milk latte is usually my go-to iced and was that like you like came to that on your own or uh, yeah. like did you get it from someone I like transitioned into I went from like iced coffees you know with all the cream and the sugar oh. and now like in the morning I drink just black coffee a hot cup of black coffee every morning to wake me up I'm up I get up before 45 what? I gotta yes, I need the caffeine black to get coffee me. is kind of crazy yeah <laughs> it's good I think I've trained really? myself to like it yeah and you just make it at home before you uh, yep. come here yep like have right you had when I wake up Wow. So like I get out up, of bed, get, immediately go to first, make your coffee. The first thing I do is I make my coffee. Wow. Yeah, so like on your commute, has yeah. anything crazy happened? Because like those 50 minutes must, yes. must drive you insane. Actually, driving home the other day, I, so I take the Pike going to uh, back to Boston. Mm -hmm. And I was driving and I like noticed it was like 4 p.m. And I was like, it's really strange that there's no cars coming on the highway, like coming out of Boston. Like it's rush hour, there should be a ton. And then all of a sudden I saw like probably like two or three dozen cop cars and like motorcycles. Like what is going on? And then I saw a bunch of big black SUVs and I looked it up and it was Joe Biden. So you drove <laughs> so past I drove Joe by Biden's Joe motorcade. Biden, yeah. And I had no idea, I didn't realize that he was in Boston at the time. So I did not understand what was going on. But then I was like, that's gotta be the president. Like who else would they <laughs> shut down the highway for? And sure enough, Joe Biden. So that's the craziest thing I think. How does it feel to have been that close to the president? I was so close to the president. I, don't, I wish I had known at the time. Mm -hmm. I didn't, was not processing what was happening, but pretty cool.
So, so the commute worth it, I on guess. On the topic of crazy, what's the craziest yeah. thing that's happened here? A lot of a lot of crazy things have happened at South. Um, one of them, I did have a student bring a lizard into my classroom. A lizard? Yep. Like Where? Their, their pet. They brought it from home. Brought it into class. <laughs> Took it out. Really. You Showed you their lizard? Yeah, I was like, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely don't want to. What, what did I you do? I, like, what did, like, at that point, it away, had or? already been uh, report. I think it was already known. The uh, admin had already been, you know, told about the lizard. I think the lizard got removed from. The I school. heard someone bringing a bird the other day. Someone I brought in a bird this, the other day. Pulled it out of the pocket. Don't bring your pets to school. It's not. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Not the best idea. No. To bring. So your first year of teaching was yeah. COVID year. Yes. How was COVID year, and then how was the transition from COVID year? To Completely different. So I did my student teaching during like the COVID shutdown. So I was at Burnco actually mm -hmm. um, for like two months, um, and then school shut down, so we all got sent home. So my student teaching got cut short, and then I got the job here, and we did basically that entire year was remote there was a little bit of hybrid but not really um so like my first time like teaching was two years ago that first year like I don't really mm. count it because like yeah. yes I was doing the online teaching but like mm -hmm. there's no classroom management there's not really the relationships that you have with the yeah. kids um so it was a big transition going from remote learning my first year teaching to getting thrown right back into it Teach it in front of the room like it, it felt it feels like an entirely different job in all honesty yeah uh, it's like COVID was just hard on it all of us hard. Really. yeah it was, it was just, i i it was difficult for everyone i don't blame i'm glad that either. it's it's long gone and we can now laugh about it yes and be in a room together and do normal like normal yes again. do this yes so much better so what is like a memorable thing for you like what do you think has really impacted you? I think there's just like so many little like moments I've had with students throughout the years that just kind of stick mm -hmm. with me. I think like there's a lot of like, yeah, little little moments of like pride that kids have. Like I'll, I'll remember like little things of like a kid that's really struggling in the class, like mm -hmm. gets a good grade on a test, like that, like things like that, like it, I, that always sticks with me. Mm -hmm. Those those kind of memories. Me getting a five out of five. On yes, my you're getting a five when people started getting their driver's licenses. Yes, that oh. uh, that was very exciting. Who was the first one to get that? The first one. That, I think it was Raquel. Mm -hmm. In the, not in your class. In your class, I think it was Yo Jung. I think was the first one. And Cody. Oh, and Cody. Yeah, yeah. they both got it on the same and day. And then Raquel was the first one in all of my classes. I must admit that I didn't really do the work for the memorized. last two. I just memorized the answers because you gave the same one three <laughs> times. It's feeling nice. So you can't picture yourself being anything else other than a teacher? I don't think so. I think I think there's other jobs that I would enjoy, but like mm -hmm. I don't picture myself leaving the teaching profession unless like there was a big change in my life. What what happened. are those other jobs? I could see myself being like a like a data analyst or something like mm. that. I like numbers. I like so like re still related to math. Yeah. Oh, like, definitely. Oh, okay. um, like I enjoy like keeping track of data, like with you guys in your classes and your grades mm -hmm. and everything. Like I have a million spreadsheets of yeah. everything, test quizzes, averages, like quarter averages, and like I I like looking through the data and kind of understanding what that means. Um, so I think something like that would. Be of interest to me but and just like math is your thing yeah and i like you, numbers you don't i like numbers do anything else. no like, i don't like like writing if it's a job that i no, no oh. it's not my thing reading i can do writing no mm -hmm. so how is your relationship with the other staff in the school i am lucky enough that i am very close with a lot of the staff here i have a good like friend group um mm -hmm. here i one of the the teachers miss munoz um oh, yes. is one of my best friends i'm actually in her wedding in a couple of weeks so right. one of the bridesmaids so right. yeah and i met her here like all my friends here i met here um which is really cool and it's like i think that 
everyone that has a job like knows it's so much better going to work if you have people that you enjoy being at work with. Yeah. And there's, you know, having the student relationships, but also having the staff relationships, having someone else that you're working with that's like going through the same stuff that you can just kind of like go with at the end of the day. And look. Yeah. So what is your post 143 routine? <sighs> Decompress, mm -hmm. take a moment, a little bit of silence, uh, <laughs> and then clean up my room because it's I, always, it's still a little bit of a disaster, mm. but there's always <laughs> stuff all over the place by the end of the day. Um, and then I usually, like, if I don't have to stay after school for volleyball or for tutoring or anything, um, I'll get a little bit of work done, get a little grading, make sure that I have everything set up for tomorrow, especially mm -hmm. now with the commute. I try to get as much done before, uh, like, in the afternoon so I don't have to come early in the morning. No, at all. <laughs> I don't yeah. believe it. Like, like leaving at... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, leave at five in the morning. I don't want to do that. So I try to get as much done at the beginning of the week and after school so that I am like all set to go for mm -hmm. the next day. So just like teaching is like your whole life. It's my whole life. It's just it is. wow. It is my whole life. That is crazy. I know, and I I really enjoy it. I'm lucky. That's so yeah. Yeah. That is actually so good. I don't feel like all of the teachers here would say. I, I think, but. I mean, you have time, like ever, I've had times where, you know, the job is harder than others, mm -hmm. and I have times where I, I love this job so much, and it, it changes, you know, there's, same with you guys in school, you're gonna have weeks where, you know, you're like, oh, his school's pretty cool, and then you're gonna yeah. have weeks where you're like, oh my gosh, this is, I'm drowning. And yeah. we, teachers have the same thing. What classes do you teach this year? Uh, this year I have three geometry classes and then two AP calculus classes, so five in no more, no more pre-calc? No more pre-calc. I know. Maybe again one day, but I actually really like calculus, so I'm, I'm happy that I made that transition oh, yeah. for you guys. Did you take the this AP class? I, and... Yeah, I did AP Calc AB. Uh, I'm not going to say when. A uh, years, couple years ago. And I, it's funny when I, so you have to be trained to teach an AP class and in mm -hmm. the training, like we were going over. Excuse the interruption. Any teacher or anybody who sees the Nair Ellison, uh, please come to the main office. Mom is here for you for dismissal. Thank you. Um, when I was doing my training for the AP class, we were like going over past exams and the exam mm -hmm. that we were looking at was the exam that I had taken when I was in high school, which is funny no to see it like on the other end because I remember the exam like mm -hmm. at, from the student perspective, but to like see it from the teacher perspective. I'll, I'm going to make sure that we do all of those in class. What did you get on the exam? I got a four on the exam. Oh, know, crazy. Not a five. It's okay. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. I was, it was good enough. I, I'm, I'm going to be happy if I scrape a three. It placed me out of calculus in college, so that was good. I got to move, yeah. move on. So. so, oh, how was mm -hmm. school? Good. Like, how was that? How was Yes. Around? So I did, when I went to Holy Cross uh, for undergrad, I was a math major, and then I did, like, the education program there mm -hmm. and did the student teaching, and then I went to Worcester State, and I just finished that over the summer, um, which you guys actually helped me in my class oh, last yes. year. So I had to do my thesis for my master's, and... I did it with the flipped classroom, and mm -hmm. so I like we did a flipped classroom for a month, maybe in your class, um, and then I like collected data on that and wrote my thesis on it. So I finished that over the summer, which is so nice. So I'm like officially now, done with school. Yes. Yay! First time in my life. <laughs> now, you ended up adopting the flipped classroom. Yes, I did. Like. Do you genuinely think it's it's better for, for learning? I what I found is that it just left me with more time in class mm -hmm. to help you guys, and it like I feel like sometimes notes just like take up so much time. And with the AP um, like curriculum, we don't mm -hmm. have that much time, and I didn't want to be yeah. wasting the little class time that we have, like waiting for you guys to copy things down. Yeah. So the hope was that you do it at home so that we can just get right into some examples and get working on. I mean, I feel like it has worked pretty well. Yeah. Well, because when just taking notes yeah. in class, yeah. I feel like I, was, I wasn't really You're in it. You're zoning out anyways, yeah. yeah. So if I'm going to do that at home, yeah. but like I come here and yes. I actually get to like get go ready. over it, yeah. then I yeah. feel like I understand things a whole yeah. lot better. Yeah. Now, so I've been happy with it. I'm going to try to keep it. I like it. I think you should. Yeah. Were you a good student? I was a good student. I 
academics were always really important to me. My mom's a teacher, so I grew up in a family that like it was really mm -hmm. important to do well in school and like be respectful to your teachers and everything. I was definitely a chatty student. Oh. But I was a chatty student who got all of her work done. So okay. I was the one that they you could move me anywhere in the room and I would talk to whoever was sitting next to me, but I would be doing my work as I was talking to the person sitting next to me. Okay, so, so at, least, at least the work was done. Yes, always got my work done. It, getting good grades was important to me, but had fun along the way. Okay. <laughs> now, how, how was that as you were growing up having a mom? Also as a teacher? Yeah. I think that was a, a big drive for me into going into teaching. I actually have a lot of teachers in my family. My aunt is a teacher, my grandmother was a teacher, my other aunt is a guidance counselor. Like I just kind of grew up with education around me. Um, and I think that that, well one, it just helped me learn to enjoy learning. I think like mm -hmm. when you have a teacher as a parent, like they enjoy learning. And so I think like we grew up like loving to read and learn about new things. And like, I, I appreciated that. And I think, um, yeah, I just, I, I admire my mom a lot, and I saw that she was a really good teacher, and I, think, yeah, I, I, I could see myself doing the same thing, so. So, like, teaching really is your whole life. It is. Since, like, the beginning yeah. to now. It beginning really has now. just been your whole I life. I know. It's crazy. Yeah, that there was, like, for a long time, there was a lot of things that were kind of leading me to get here, and now I'm like, oh, I'm here. I'm and how old it. are you? 26. Dang. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. So, 26 years on Earth. How has that been? It's good. It's gone by really quickly. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. COVID, I feel like COVID kind of changed. There's a couple lost years, I feel like, with that. Oh. But yeah. No, okay, it's okay. 26 good years. I'm very lucky. So, I have no other questions. I feel like we've touched Anything? everything there was to touch, but yeah. just one final thing. Okay. What advice would you give to anyone who's listening, students or just really anyone? Um. I guess for students, the best advice that I can give you is just that education is important and is, is mm -hmm. important to not only to get good grades, but like to care about what you're learning about. Like this is, you, when you're an adult and you like aren't in school, you, you kind of miss that like gaining the information. Um, mm -hmm. So like, don't take that for granted. Um, and then just general, advice um i think like if you think that you know what you want to do in the future like with me being a teacher like mm -hmm. I, I just felt it in my gut that that was what i wanted to do like do whatever you can follow the, that path and here we go oh. and now look, look yeah, i am now i'm here wow yeah all right thank you so much